DL Hub is a deep learning studio that allows you to design, train and validate deep learning models without coding. And in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the basics of making a deep learning model using DL Hub. To better demonstrate, let's create a COVID-19 detection model that can classify COVID and non-COVID symptoms from chest X-ray images. First, we'll need DL Hub software installed on your PC in a training dataset. The training dataset includes two folders named COVID and NON. Each folder contains many categorized chest X-ray images with COVID and non-COVID symptoms. You can have an optional test dataset to test the model accuracy after training. Now the dataset has been well prepared and is ready for loading into DL Hub. After logging in, the load training data window will appear. DL Hub currently supports three training data formats, and users can click the question mark button for more information. You'll notice that my training dataset is prepared in folder format. DL Hub also provides many example datasets for you to try out by clicking the download examples button. Or you can generate sample file, folders template. Now let's load the training dataset. A small data sample will be displayed to visualize how these data will look in DL Hub. The categories have been converted to numeric characters for training purposes. With an image type dataset, DL Hub supports transfer learning techniques to accelerate the training process and solve the accuracy problem with a small dataset. You won't have to define the input shape when selecting Apply Transfer Learning. Next, we will need to configure the model structure. DL Hub supports many different deep learning modules that help users to create and customize their AI models with simple clicks. Users can view all these modules by clicking the core, recurrent and advanced tabs. With each selected module, you can also adjust its parameter. Then click add to add this module to your model structure. Continue this process until all necessary modules have been added. The toolbar allows you to rearrange modules, duplicate or delete them. You can save this model structure for reuse or share it with others. When you click on load template, we provide different deep learning templates so inexperienced users can use them without building the modules from scratch. Now I will begin creating a deep learning structure for our applications. We will use the transfer learning technique to optimize the training process. After building the model structure, click on Verify Model to start verification. The system will require you to save the structure before verification. Green bar means the model is valid. Click Next to continue. DL Hub provides users with many options to configure the training parameters and stopping criteria for the training process. Depending on your dataset's quality and the application's requirements, you will set the appropriate parameter. After configuring the training parameters, click Start Training to begin the training process. GPU will be used to accelerate the training process if applicable. The training detail will be updated in the graph. DL Hub will constantly extract a small dataset to evaluate the trained model during this process. Based on that, users can stop the training anytime if necessary. There are two types of status when training is finished. Training completed means the model has reached the number of training epochs or max fails. Training pass means the model has reached the training goal. However, these statuses do not define the performance of the model. To know that, we will click Next and go to the Model Evaluation step. 
This step allows you to see the accuracy percentage of the trained model. Simply load the test dataset you have prepared and click Evaluate. Click Next if you want to test the model with each data manually and load the dataset you want to test. The result will be listed in the result section. Satisfied with your trained model? Let's export it for deployment. We provide different integrated APIs to help users deploy trained models into other applications based on your purchased license, such as C Sharp, C++, LabVIEW. Simply select the export options you want and click the export button. The exported file will contain trained model information and can be used in your selected programming environment. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to check out our other videos. And thanks for watching.